fight is done I'll take the crown with my gathering gun Hey, what is going on guys? And it is Wave Enix here today, and how you all doing? And uh, today I have a pretty awesome video for you guys, hope you guys do enjoy it. And no, the title definitely isn't lying, this is by far my best gameplay on Black Ops 3 to date. I'm not going to give too much away, I'm not going to ruin the final score or whatever, but um, I'm going to leave that in at the end of today's video, <laughs> alongside with my reaction to this game, because... I, I went absolutely off after this game and have it all recorded. Hopefully you guys will have a laugh and whatnot. Uh, <laughs> it was an awesome gameplay, that's all I'm going to say. I'm not trying to toot my own horn or blow my own whistle, but I got super lucky this game. I made some really smart plays, some really smart decisions, and overall the enemies just didn't have any thumbs. <laughs> but um, I guess really that's what pub stomping is. It's stomping randoms in the public lobbies and uh, you can never really get a good gameplay against good players and that's just kind of how pub stomping's always been but um, I'm just going to touch on briefly what I mentioned in a previous video that I'm kind of out of that pub stomping scene and I don't go for gameplays anymore and despite me somehow getting this crazy gameplay I didn't really go for it and it kind of just fell in my hands and I kind of just had a really good game and I don't know really how it happened. I've still been like playing Black Ops 3, still been ranking up and whatnot, but I just haven't been on that Call of Duty grind like I was in Advanced Warfare and Call of Duty Ghost when I was just grinding and grinding and grinding for gameplays. But um, I managed to pull this off, so hopefully you guys do enjoy it. Uh, this is kind of similar to my older content where I just post a gameplay and talk about the gameplay. So I'm just going to talk to you guys how I got this, what was going through my head at points and times, and why I chose the gun, the loadout, the specialist, and all that. So let's start right off the kill streak. So. What we're running in this video, what we're running in this gameplay, sorry, we're running the Raps, Wraith, alongside with the Hater, which is more commonly referred to as the VSAT. Um, you guys know the VSAT, it's absolutely amazing. What is better than knowing exactly where your enemy is positioned and which way your enemy is facing? I don't think anything. So, coming in number one is the Hater. A Hater is a must-have in almost any score streak setup, as long as you're a good enough player to earn one. There's no point in having score streaks on what you're not going to earn. Like, if I come across, like, a good party, a good enemy party who I'm versing, I'll lower my killstreaks down to, like, a UAV, uh, like, a lightning strike, and maybe, like, a wraith if I get a good streak going, or chuck the wraith on, and so if I do get a good streak, I can call a wraith up and piss those guys off. But um, if you're versing scrubs, definitely give yourself high score streaks, because you're most likely going to get them. But, uh, yeah, so I also ran the Wraith and Raps in this game. So, the Wraith is probably my second favorite kill streak in Black Ops 3, uh, shortly behind the Hater, of course. And what I like the Wraith so much is there's three things an enemy can do once a Wraith is called up. Option A, and most common, is they're all going to try and funnel inside a building or try and get some cover or at least hide for the Wraith, hide from the Wraith until the Wraith kind of goes away. Option 2, they just are noobs and they run out and they get shot by my Wraith and they die. Option three, they sit at the back of the map with launches and try and shoot it down. And all of these, they're good things. So, if they run inside a building, I know where they are. They're all going to be indoors, okay? So, that's giving me an idea of where the enemy is, and it's always good to have an idea of where the enemy is, of course. And uh, option two is um, if they get shot by my wraith, awesome. They get shot by my wraith. How good's that? But, um, and option three, if they're at the back of the map with launches... This can be a bit tricky here. If they're running like blind eye or something, your wraith isn't going to kill them and they're going to shoot down your wraith. However, they're going to be looking up at the sky. They're going to be trying to find your wraith. So they're pretty much free kills and they're just more kills to your scoreboard at the end of it, all right? And right here, I get super lucky. Oh, he didn't see me. Didn't <laughs> and see me. so you guys saw right there. What like, that's a perfect <laughs> example in this gameplay of how lucky I got. He just walked straight through the door. I was in the corner calling him a wraith and he didn't see me somehow. That's what I mean. The enemy team needs to be retarded for anyone to get gameplays. And uh, as I was saying, so that's why I like the Wraith so much, because it can only make positive things happen. But if you're going to stand at the back of the map, try and shoot it down, they're going to run indoors, or they're just going to get shot by it. And uh, the Raps. The Raps is really good in combination with the Wraith. Now, so if the Wraith is up, they're all going to be inside. And that's when your wraps go in. Your wraps will go in, they'll all be in tight little corridors, they'll be undercover, and your wraps explode. You're going to get multiple kills with your raps. And, uh, of course, just once again, having the hater up, it's the hater's godlike. You can't have any score streak set up without having a hater on. It just it wouldn't make any sense. 
But yeah, so moving on to the uh, gun I was running and like attachments and perk wise and whatnot, I was running the Man of War, and this was after the patch came out where the recoil was reduced on the Man of War. So this gun is like a laser beam now. The only uh, complaint I hear a lot about the Man of War is that it has a slow fire rate, but if it was to have a high fire rate, I feel as if it would be overpowered because of how strong the damage is. And personally, I can deal with that slow rate of fire as long as you're hitting your shots, you can really do some work with the Man of War. And uh, for the perks I was running, I believe I would have been running, was I running Ghost? No, I don't think I was running Ghost. I think I had Flat Jacket, Scavenger, Dead Silence, and Amplifier. If you guys have a head silence, not a head silence, if you guys have a headset, sorry, uh, Dead Silence and Amplifier are crucial. I'm actually using the Astro Ray 50s, they're really good. Um, I just sound whore kids across the map, it's really overpowered, I'm not even going to lie to you. And uh, the attachments what I was using on the Man of War, I think I had the Long Barrel, Red Dot, and uh, uh, Quick Draw, a Quick Draw, yeah, I know, the Quick Draw. And, uh, yeah, quick draw, red dot, and long barrel. And it's pretty weird to run an assault rifle without stock. Because it's, it's almost unheard of, an assault rifle without stock. Mm, I know. But somehow I managed to pull this gameplay off, so I don't know how I did it. And I'm just I'm just in the spawn right now, watching these kids spawn and just picking them off. And that's what I mean again. I get super lucky in this gameplay and just super fortunate. But, um, yeah, while I was running the long barrel as well, the long barrel is awesome. It actually increases your range by 50% on assault rifles. So that means you're going to get more of those three-shot kills, what you fucking want, man. You want those three-shot kills across the map because that's what's going to get you those streaks. That's what's going to win those gunfights and whatnot. And um, I'm close to my nuclear right here, I think. Right there. Let's go, baby. Uh, Let's go, baby. Nuclear! And I uh, have a little clap. <laughs> and then I cool. just go back on my streak. And I did try and cut today's uh, gameplay down as much as I possibly could, only because it was a really long gameplay, and it, it still came to seven and a bit minutes, almost eight minutes long. That's crazy. And um, hopefully you guys haven't been too bored and you guys are still sticking around listening to my boring voice for almost eight minutes. If you guys did, leave a comment saying... What's a cool thing? Um... Leave my score. Leave my score in the comment section down below if you guys stay all the way to the end of the video. That'd be awesome to see if who, who actually does stay and watch the whole video. But, um, yeah. And, oh, combat focus. How could I leave it out? Combat focus is awesome to get streaks. Um, it actually, like, doubles your score and it goes towards your score streaks and whatnot when you get kills and when you cap flags. So, today's gameplay is coming up to a close. You're going to see my final score in a moment. Anyway, guys, I've got to say goodbye very quickly. It has been your boy, Venix, and as always, have a marvelous day. I don't want to die, I want to stay flawless. I got you, I got you. Oh, look at the score, look at the score, baby. Look at it, look at it. Look at me go. <laughs> Let's go, boys. <laughs> Woo. 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 That was a fucking sick game. Let's go, baby. Woo. Woo. Da 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 da